good health is the most important and precious thing of human life. Sanitation, safe drinking water and health are interlinked and interdependent on each other. Villages are supposed to be relatively clean and pollution-free due to less human congestion and nearness to the nature. But due to scarcity of water, disposal of waste in open along the roadside and the practice of open defecation, lack of sanitation is an alarming issue in most of the villages. Many health hazards, especially in children, are directly or indirectly connected to water pollution. Sustainable Groundwater Management or SUGAM, a community-based project was initiated by Center for World Solidarity or CWS, a voluntary organization based at Hyderabad in the year 2011 in six gram panchayats of undivided state of Andhra Pradesh. This project has a holistic approach of ensuring equitable safe drinking water to all households, sanitation and hygiene, and efficient groundwater use, benefiting small and marginal farmers of the project area. So the Sugam project integrates all these three components, drinking water, sanitation and irrigation, in a very holistic approach and involves the community participation, also encourages the Gram Panchayats to come and play a role in water governance. In 2011, when the project was started, the sanitation component was not initialized. Initially, it was not conceptualized. But uh, later on, when we started working on drinking water supply, and then we realized that it is very important to work on sanitation because water quality for drinking is also very important, which is now currently affected by the open defecation practices. Then our objective of providing safe and uh, sustainable water supply to all the families will never be reached. Therefore, we started working on sanitation from 2012 onwards. Baseline survey of the project villages clearly indicated that most of the drinking water sources were adjacent to open defecation areas. Such water samples were tested positive to hazardous microbial pathogens. Hence, the project decided to take up sanitation issues as well to ensure safe drinking water. Sugam project covers six gram panchayats, namely Waddi Cherla and Wanaparthi in Warangal district of Telangana state and Masakawankapalli, Maddiwari Gondi, Kotanka and Peddamatla Gondi in Anantapur district of Andhra Pradesh. The project is funded by European Union and co-financed by Bread for the World, Germany. It operates in coordination with local voluntary organizations, namely Jana Jagruti, Crops and RIDS. The project enjoys community participation, government collaboration and encourages Panchayat Raj institutions to take up water governance. As a first step of implementation of the project, baseline survey was conducted with social mapping method involving villagers. It was clear that the people were habituated to open defecation near the water bodies and other areas where they move around. Elderly persons were facing difficulties to move out of the village for the purpose every day. The villagers were explained about the linkage between contamination of water sources and the persistent health problems among children, women and elderly people. Awareness campaign was taken up through household visits, meetings and exposure visits. Villagers were taken to Gramalaya of Tamil Nadu and Ramakrishna Mission in West Bengal on exposure visits. People believe that seeing is their motivation, main motivation. So after seeing all the practical uh, things in the Ramakrishna Mission and Gramalaya, people found that the sanitation will help to improve their livelihoods because mainly they can reduce the diseases that came from the water. 
and also some of the street plays and uh, individual household visits also helped the people to motivate and they started construction. Some of the people came forward to renovate their uh, toilets and they started using. Baseline survey data covering 3,317 households of the project area showed that hardly 625 households were using toilets in 2011. Some 1,161 households left fully or partially built toilets useless, while 1,531 households had no toilets at all. Sugam Project coordinates with Gram Panchayats, Mandal Praja Parishads and State Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Departments to get sanctions for new toilets. Old and defunct toilets were not getting subsidy under any scheme to make it operational. Project understood that unless these abandoned toilets are made useful Achieving the goal of open defecation-free villages was not possible. Sugam took a unique step to attend this issue. The estimated cost of renovation of these toilets was rupees 4,000 per unit. Project supported this work with rupees 2,000 for each renovation. Keeping even fully built toilet idle was due to not having individual panchayat tap water connection to these households. Hence, the project provided up to rupees 1000 for getting individual tap connection. These sensible steps helped a lot to achieve the target of total sanitation. State Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Department sanctions rupees 15,000 for constructing new toilets to each household. Sugam project provides up to rupees 5,000 to each unit and up to rupees 1,000 for individual water connection in addition. Mr. Magbul Basha, Mandal Parishad Development Officer of Gandlapenta Mandal is happy about the project. It is good that one of the panchayats is included in this project with the support of CWS and Jana Jagruti. Sugam is an integrated project implementing the works in collaboration with different government schemes. I am glad to say that we are about to achieve 100% sanitation under new Swachh Bharat scheme. The beneficiary will get the incentive from the project after the completion of toilet construction and use for at least three months. The project team at local level will monitor both renovation and new toilet construction works. The team geotags each such toilets with GPS enabled cameras at three stages of construction, that is before renovation or new construction, in the middle stage of implementation and after completion of the toilet. Elected representative of Gram Panchayat certifies the quality of the work. Mr. Venkatesh, Sarpanch of Maddiwari Gondi Gram Panchayat feels proud that Sugam project has selected their Panchayat. I am happy that the villagers got awareness on sanitation. Now they are using toilets either by renovation or by new construction. They strictly avoid open defecation. Project team ensures compilation of all necessary documents. Final payment is done to the bank account of the beneficiary after confirming usage of the toilet at least for three months. Sugam project strives to cover poor and marginalized communities. Subsidy from government is disbursed only after some progress in construction. 
project understood that many poor families are discouraged as they do not have cash to invest. Hence, the project took another model step of microfinancing for building toilets by establishing Jalanidhi cooperative societies in each village of the project area. All the households of the village are eligible to become members of this society. It provides loan up to rupees 10,000 for the construction of new toilets. Beneficiaries pay back the loan with decided interest after getting the subsidy from the government. This approach helped the project to be more inclusive, pro-poor and has also contributed a lot to achieve the target. Sugam project initiated in the year 2011 closes by 2016. Now the sanitation situation has improved a lot. Incidence of waterborne diseases has come down remarkably. Even the children are motivated to use only built toilets. Ma'am, school lallo marugadadne vaadata. Ma'am, intlo kuda marugadadne vaadata. Bye, takei vellam. Women who suffered earlier are now happy. Miss Shri Devi has renovated her toilet. I have renovated the toilet by fixing the basin, door and whitewash by investing rupees 3,500. I got support of rupees 2,000 from the project. Now all my family members are using the toilet. We had a toilet with no proper drainage system. The water poured into it got jammed and hence we left it unused. I have two children. They hesitate to defecate openly. In this situation, one day corpse organization came to me and motivated to renovate the toilet. We listened their words and renovated the toilet with partial financial support from Sugam project. Now we are using the toilet and are feeling healthy and happy. By March 2015, out of 3,317 households of the project area, 1,722 are using the toilet fully, registering an increase of 1,097 units. 745 redundant toilets became useful out of 1,161 in the beginning of the project. Sugam project supported 477 renovations and 106 new constructions. Due to the awareness created by the project, 268 households repaired and started using the toilets without any assistance by the project. The innovative blend of creating awareness, incentive for building toilets and microfinance to poor has given visible results. Encouraged by the support from communities and government authorities, the project is poised to make the villages open defecation free and healthier by 2016.